difference? Like, I guess, tell me the Métis connection to the land. So tell me how that was for, for, for you and your connection to the land. When I, how important when I was. was born and raised, I was raised with old people. Uh, and, and, and the, and the, um, the Kokums, the grandmas were the medicine women. And uh, they knew their, their, what was there and how it could be used for. They didn't just go out and pick a root and think, well, you can drink this or you can do that. They knew exactly, just like any pharmacist, they knew what they could use it for. And when we, like I said, if you, when, and I'm gonna be honest, that's probably from a woman's point of view. When we, we had our babies, we had special stuff to drink, which cleanse our inside their wounds and it was our womb so that this was healthy to clear all that inside of us and the blood be after because sometimes when a woman has the baby sometimes they have that bleeding so they clean that when our people had had stomach flus or diarrhea we had medicine for that when we had colds and and and, and when we were sick they would, they had some stuff that they would boil and along with that, they also took, when they talked about mustard plasters, they didn't just take the mustard plasters and was mixed with flour and different things and how they put that, but they knew exactly how much they could put on you that it wouldn't burn your skin. That, so there's so many different things. And then there's the, there's the, um, um, the rose bushes, the, the you know, there's, there's medicine that if you have a cold sore, you can take that and you can put it on your cold sore and it would clear it up. And they also used it for other things. So there's so many things that these things were used for, but they were healthy ones. Now, I don't know. Um, I know we did the medicine walk and we've done a lot of that. There's a lot of history on that and we have a lot of history on that. But we don't, there's not that much used like it used to be because the fear of, of the land and, and what's happening. Sanford talked about that. He talked about that there's a fear of what, what we have added to the land yep. now. So that's a Métis people have that same that's fear right. then, yeah. okay? Because when, when I was out there and, and some of the younger ones were saying, and I was saying, you know, I showed them what I can remember, but I said, you got to be careful. You just can't take this and take these roots and stuff, because we don't know what's sprayed there. We don't know what's coming down when they're up in space and what's dropping all over us. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful. And uh, and I know a lot of uh, the the um, the medicine women that had had their their medicines. They made sure that they were well looked after and well protected. And they never ever put them in a bags or stuff they were put in cloth mm -hmm. for that reason to keep them so besides the the plants and the medicine and stuff like that well how else did the metis people connect with the land like um i mean in lots of ways but when you were little how else would you have connected with the land with your families the old people would connect us with their land we were taught as a very young age if we were out in the land we were told to always respect our land. We were also told to respect those flowers that were grown because those were the creations of our of Mother Earth, and we have to make sure those those flowers or whatever this we could not just go around and break things and break them off, like I see happen now. And 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 even our, when we picked our berries, or the trees, when we had picked our berries, we weren't allowed to break the branches. And I see some people sometime when I used to berry pick would break the branches. That wasn't allowed because that was Mother Earth's creation and that had to grow for the next year and we have to protect them. So that was the way we, we would learn how to do things. Our land was very important too because we had to, we had to um, most of the time we lived off the land. Our hunting, our, 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 our deer, our moose and our rabbits, they ate off the land. We had to protect the land for them in order for us to be healthy, for them to be healthy. So when we had their food, they were healthy. We knew we were having healthy food.